I'm recording in my truck for the impeccable lighting. Hi, welcome to Timeless Share. I'm Joseph, or the Shady Blacksmith on social media. I am recording from my truck because, well, there's really not a good place on campus to record. Uh, everything is very noisy. Today we'll be reading from Ephesians chapter 2. It says in verse 1, and you were dead in your trespasses and sins, in which you previously walked according to the world, this worldly age, according to the ruler of the atmospheric domain, the spirit now working in the disobedient. We too all previously lived among them in our fleshly desires, carrying out the inclinations of our flesh and thoughts, and by nature we were children under wrath, as the others were also. But God, who is abundant in mercy, because of his great love that he had for us, made us alive with the Messiah, even though we were dead in trespasses. By grace, you are saved. I posted my testimony in Timeless Share a little while back. In fact, you can see all of our testimony in the Testimonies app, linked here. Our individual testimony is very important. See, God gave us our story as a work of power there if you lived you know a, a decently good life maybe you grew up in the church and you were sheltered from the world uh and so just ever since you were a little kid you've known that god was your god and that you wanted to do everything you could to live for him you've still messed up, you've still made mistakes, you've still sinned, you've still earned your way to hell. But the God of the universe, the God who made everything, the God who's never sinned or messed up in any way, the God who will have absolutely nothing to do with any sin or imperfection, loved you enough that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross willingly for our sins, for, um, to forgive us, so that we could have a relationship with God and then eventually go to heaven and live with him for the rest of eternity. That is power. There is nothing weak about your testimony, even if it is that kind of testimony. God gave you a story, and that story will mean something. It does mean something. People like to know your story. Uh, people like to share their story. Um, sometimes people might want to leave out certain things about their story because they just feel like it's too dark or maybe it's too personal or something. Um, but people like stories, especially true stories, especially personal stories. People want to feel like they know you. And really, there's no better way for them to know you than to know your story. And if they're wanting to know your story, then that is a great, like, magnificent segue into the gospel. There's, There are a lot of really strong tools that God has given us for sharing the gospel and for growing our relationship with God. And our testimony is one of them that often gets overlooked. I'm not saying that you don't share your testimony enough. I don't even, I don't know if you share your testimony every day. But I, I want to encourage you to just... Share your story with people and use that to share the gospel with them. Because verse 19 says, So then you were no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of God's household. Aren't you excited about being a fellow citizen with the saints, a member of God's household? I know I am. I don't share my testimony enough. And I need to be more open with people about who I am and who I was. Because God has rescued me from the domain of darkness and given me eternal life. 
Thank you for watching The Timeless Share. I hope this video has been helpful in your own walk with God. And um, I encourage you to go ahead and if you've not watched the first one, watch Ephesians 1 and read that chapter and just read the chapter for yourself. There's a lot of good stuff in there that God can speak to you that he, you won't get out of this video.